In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the sample mean, variance, and standard deviation of this data set by hand and using a graphing calculator. So first, let's find the mean. So to find the mean, we have x bar that equals to 4 plus 15 plus 9 plus 12 plus 16 plus 8 plus 11 plus 19 plus 14. And then we divide by the number of data in here, which is 9. So this one gives you a 12. Try to make the number nice for you. And then a standard deviation. So that is a S square. So the formula is you are taking the sum of each data value, subtract the mean, square the result that is deviation, and then you divide by n minus 1. All right. So the first data is 4. You take 4 minus 12. You square that, divide by 9 minus 1, or you write 8. And then 15 minus 12 squared divided by 9 minus 1. And then 9 minus 12 squared, 9 minus 1. And then 12 minus 12 squared divided by 9 minus 1, 16. Plus, not plus, 16 minus 12 squared divided by 9 minus 1. And then 8 minus 12 squared divided by 9 minus 1, 11 minus minus 12 square 9 minus 1 and then we have 9 19 minus 12 square divided by 9 minus 1 and then 14 minus 12 square divided by 9 minus 1 in my class I all I would just ask if I ask people to do this on paper I would just ask people to write a full expression and then I will give them full credits for that they don't need to calculate what the variation what the variance equals to because if they are doing this on the test the time might be a little bit tight so they all i ask is write a full expression so this one uh, i have all the terms right yep i have all nine terms so this number i will just give it to them that is equals to 21 because they will need this to calculate the standard deviation so the standard deviation is s is equals to the square root of the variance that is around four point 58 okay so uh let's do this on my calculator so uh in your calculator first you go to stat find the stat key is just right next to the left arrow you go to stat and then you go to edit you go to stat you will see edit the first thing that shows up is edit and then you select edit press enter right so i already have a set of data from the previous problem so now i will be using my l2 so in case this is your first time watching my video so let's say i have a couple data right there i don't need them anymore how do i clean up the data you use the up arrow go all the way up to l2 so make sure the height the cursor is on l2 so l2 is uh, blackout and then you hit enter and then you hit clear enter sorry not not enter clear enter so you once you clear you clear the the, the whole list but the data are, are still in the in the grid right and then you hit enter so all the data will be erased so now let's in, input the first value four and then uh 15 right four enter 15 enter 9 enter 12 16 don't uh be, be, be very careful right don't make a, don't don't make a mistake if you one of data one of the data entry is wrong then the whole problem is wrong 4 15 9 12 16 and then 8 and then 11 and then 19 and then 14 and then always double check your data especially when you are taking a test 16 12 9 15 4 all right so let's go to second mode second mode to quick now i go to stat and then i go to calc use the right arrows go to calc and then select one variable stat one raw stats and then uh, I store my data in L2, right? So clean up whatever the list you have. You hit second two. Do you see there is a L2 above that? It's either in blue, blue or yellow, right? So you hit the second, you hit the blue key, and then you hit two. So that gives you the blue option. And then ignore the frequency list, go straight to calculate. If you're using an older calculator, the one, vari one variable st 
stats will be returned to the home screen and then you will see a cursor flashing on the home screen just hit second and then two where, where, wherever you store your data set and then you hit enter so this one gives you um, the mean is equals to 12 so x bar is the mean sum of the the data is 108 you add up every number you get 108 divided by 9 you get a 12 and then uh, the next one the sum of x square is you square every single data you add them up you get a big number and then sx sx is sample standard deviation 4.58 and then the sigma x sigma x is population standard deviation you don't i don't think you will need that so if you hit the down arrow you will see that um there are n n is nine data so minimum q1 qd maximum we will talk about that in the next lesson all right so that's how you calculate um the sample mean variance and standard deviation one thing that you might want to ask me is hey the 21 is not in there how do i get the standard how do i get the variance uh, one thing you can do is you get the how do you get the variance one thing you can do is you get the standard deviation first and then you square that or here is where you, you can go you hit second and then you hit stat and then you go to math right second stat and then you go to math and then you see the last option is variance let me clean clean that up second stat and then the last option is variance right you choose that and then you hit second two l2 or you put that in l1 then you hit second one close the parenthesis for that hit enter then you get your sample variance all right so that will be all in this video if you think that is helpful like subscribe share this out for me i appreciate your help very really much i see you all in the next one